Yes, you can pull things from your life. The special occasion speech, our final speech for this semester, yay, it is imagination-based. It's not research-based. You will take us there, your classmates and me, your teacher, and we will follow along and suspend our disbelief for a few minutes and embark with you on a journey. You can record this with your phone on uh-oh, the red button's not on anymore. Uh, no, you used to recording. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm adjusting to teaching asynchronous and um, as you are. <sighs> Thank you, 2020. My students, they have so many questions. They want an example of the special occasion speech. Turn him off. I just want to see if the garbage trucks are going to be running this week. Sorry, there's a echo. Why would anyone ever think he'd be a good mayor? Well, his father was good. No, 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 you see, that's always wrong. Whenever the father does something good, and just hands the job to the son, we get 25 years of it. It's... Hello? Uh, you're a little fuzzy. Oh, all right, well, let me move. Um, can you hear me now? Yes, I hear you. Oh, great. Um, I'm calling for, uh, for Sarah, my, my wife. Uh, yes, I remember. She thinks she, she got the virus. It was back in March, and uh, there weren't any tests then, so it uh, it probably was just a, a, a flu. You know, so many people were convinced they got the plague. Well, has she taken an antibody test? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's... We thought of that. Um, <clears throat> I don't think I got her sick. I, I, I didn't even cough. I had a fever for one night, so I don't know how contagious I could have. Hello? One time, I'd like to get him in a room, turn on a camera, and say, you're not leaving until, what did they say to Nixon? What did you know? When did you know it? I don't think he'd say anything useful. I mean, mm, he's incompetent, maybe, but he's not a bad guy. Oh, that's a, that's an act. You no, know no, that. No, he's OK. He's horrible. He's just in a tough spot. You're being kind. You're too kind. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> man. Hello, students. I thought it would be helpful if I record my own special occasion speech for you to give you an example. And uh, my partner, Denny, is helping me. Thank God. Just make me look good, honey. And I decided to do a campaign speech for mayor. Why not? I wanted to see how I work on a speech. I'll write it, practice it, practice it again and again and again. <sighs> I'll get it on my feet. I'm standing here, standing. I'm standing, gathered beside neighbors and friends. Neighbors, friends. I am so close to the Hudson River that I can smell the water. I moved here when I was 22. I moved here because of a boy, a man. <laughs> he was just we are man. I left Puerto Rico at 21 for graduate school, and I met him there. He was in law school. He was in law school, and this was his hometown. I didn't know anyone. In the end, my husband left. He remarried and has a family in Florida, and I'm still up here freezing my ass off half the year. A speech is not a list of memories. Why are you speaking about this one thing right now? Why now? 
I'm wondering about the homes on Oak Grove. Can they pick up water? Well, they're outside the quarter mile radius that's currently in the remediation zone, so. I'm sorry, your language is confusing. Are you saying that the radius might change? That's a decision that the EPA makes and we'll follow their guidance. Go ahead, Rich. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm not finished yet. We have a lot of time for one question per person. One question? When was that decided? It was all on the public listing. I just had to read them. Let's go back 25 years. Many people here had well water, and our part of town was very close to an old metal plant that had been dumping waste who knows where. Many people got sick. Many people get sick. The town said nothing, the mayor said nothing. <sighs> this isn't the right place for this speech. More people get sick. But the mayor says, be patient. There's home values to protect. Nine years later, the Department of Environmental Protection designates it toxic. We found lead, nickel, cyanide. Try go. I can say the freaking word. I cannot even pronounce it. It was in our water, in our soil. State officials had been investigating the site for years, and yet this man, our mayor, Neil Hoyer III, says, be patient. And I got sick too. Very sick with a blood cancer. So many doors closed. I could not have kids. It was very hard. But I have community here. In fact, the friends that I made, you are the reason, you are the reason I got better. My doctors told me I may get sick again. I am. This time, my odds are not good. In fact, I decided a few months ago to stop treatment before this whole lockdown began. Might as well make some changes before my chemo brain gets worse. Might as well gather my, my friends and say, I'm running for mayor. I'm running to expose truth. We will go through all the records, make them public. People should know. What did our leaders know, and when did they know it? Why are Too you much. stopping? It's not for your kids. It's not. Yes, it's it is. No, Why aren't you as angry as I am? I'm angry all the time. Then show it! Are you okay? Hi. Uh, this is another example for your students. A toast for Agnes. Uh, tonight is the fifth anniversary of my moving in with you. 
and I didn't mention it because we, you know, we both had a lot going on. But I, uh, now I've, by all rights, you know, we never should have met. It's just luck that Judy and I settled up here when she was pregnant. Now I met you the same way I met most of the people in my life, through the eyepiece of a camera. Some of our newer friends may not know this, but I was a cameraman for WPNG, number one source of local news in the Hudson Valley. And, and I was covering a town council meeting. And you were, you were hard to ignore. Hello, students. I'm imagining I am giving a graduation speech. And since I had the key, I thought I recorded in the auditorium to help me feel your presence. Hmm? Welcome, class of 2020. You did it. You did it in the middle of a pandemic. <sighs> what a time to give a graduation speech, right? I was thinking backstage. Good luck inspiring anyone. I hate it when people I don't know start offering me advice. Hey, I don't even like it when people I do know give me advice. But here I am, stuck. Because as your commencement speaker, it is my job to give you some reflections. OK. Some advice. Set dates. If you have a dream to start a business or write a novel, set a day for when it's going to happen and tell all of your friends. If they're good friends, they'll hold you to it. And here's the important part. You will be afraid. How do you feel fear? In your chest? Your head? I try to sense it. Accept it. Otherwise, you will not set dates. You will not attempt the things that you dream about. Agnes? And then you will be left with regret. Agnes? And that is a danger. People say nothing spreads through the body like cancer. No. Regret spreads faster. It takes hold of you and is unrelenting. I was worried you'd come back here. God. Honey, you shouldn't be here. Please go home. We should both go He's home. He's coming I'll... out. What? Excuse me. OK. OK. Agnes, if you want to talk to him, that's fine. Let's just please keep it go civil. Home. Just keep it civil. Hey, I... just slow Excuse down. Excuse me. Please, just slow down Excuse a little me. bit. Oh, hi, Neil. Uh, she just wants to ask you a few questions. You know the governor issued a stay-at-home order. Well, you're not home. No, I'm an essential worker. This is essential, too. Uh, look. The next time you come, I'm going to call the police. Oh, I'm fucking done. Give me your phone. Jesus, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, phone. Whoa, Jesus, whoa. what are you Give doing? Give me your phone. Whoa, whoa. <sighs> Give it. Why wouldn't you talk to me before pulling a stop like that? I didn't want to be involved. Well, now I am. This was not his idea. I don't want him to get in any trouble. I just want to leave him. I, I'm not going to call the police. Look, my wife is calling me. I just I sit have, down. Please. No, please. no, just just Put let, it down. let me text her. Put it down. I just want to ask you some questions. That's all. I don't want to hurt you. If I answer your questions, will you let me go? Would you type it? When did you know that the water near the metal factory was toxic? When did I know? I didn't know. 
I suspect it. But you saw the test results, right? Before they were released? Legally, I had to go step by step. But you didn't say anything. You didn't warn anyone for years. I was on the phone with the EPA almost every day. Please let me take this call from my wife. I would have been screaming. Yeah, well, you're a better person than I am. Let me just text no. her, please. She's no. going to be very Don't! upset. She's okay. not stable, you see that, right? I want to go now or I am calling the police. This doesn't need to involve you. No. No, I, I think you should stay. Let her finish asking her questions. She could have asked any of these at the town meeting. Well, she tried. I mean, for years, she tried. So did Judy. We've known each other a long time. If you knew that water was toxic earlier, that is something I would really, really like to know. Did you let your daughter drink from your own tap? What difference does it make? Did Sarah? Everyone heard the same rumors. Everyone could make their own decisions. But you told us to be patient. You told us to wait. What about your brother's family that live close to us, Brian? What did you tell them? I told them to drink bottled water. They never said a word to us. I told them not to tell anybody. Look, legally, I couldn't say anything. But as a person, I thought about it a lot. Agnes. I heard you were sick again. I'm really sorry. After my husband left, I said, that's it, you know? I don't need to be in love. I just focused on work, my health. But I did meet someone. What? Agnes, where you going? Agnes. Agnes! Agnes! Hey! Hey! As I am coming to the end of my life, I am realizing that he is the love of my life. The person most true to me. Kind. And I feel regret because I didn't feel the gratitude for what we have. No, I don't, I don't know why I never said it, and I, why well, I'm saying on this now, I, I, something I should say to you every day, right to your face, is please know I'm gonna be okay. I'm more than okay. 
and know that you changed my life. And it's just my life, and you know, it may not matter what it means, it matters to me. And know that I would, I would take another week with you. I would take another day, I would take another minute. Whatever you got to give me, I'll, I'll take it. Hello, students. I'm sorry, but I cannot give you a sample of the special occasion speech. I think that is for each of you to find in you. During these difficult times, close your eyes. Think about good thoughts, warm thoughts about who you love, who you wish to be with the most. Right this moment, right now. Then you will be able to write any speech. I promise. And I can't wait to see them. <laughs>